Um, that track led into uh, A Castle in Darkness, uh, which was the number two track on If Ever Beauty Fails. Um, it, oddly enough, later, in later years, uh, and, and throughout the, the mid and late 90s, for Savior Sec, we would come to be known as more of a, a, a vampiric gothic act um, basically because of the dark makeup and everything but but uh, all truth be told uh, through our 10 year career um, we only actually wrote two songs uh, dealing with vampires and uh, a castle in darkness being one of these and uh, there was castle in darkness is a pretty cool song again and kind of upbeat kind of punk song again driven by a uh, eighth note bass line pounding away with uh, again Dexter's kind of weird effect laden chords going over that with single notes beaming in and out and uh, kind of a driving song um yeah the, the whole thing hinges on on really nothing Amazing lyrically, it was very Bram Stoker, Dracula-oriented type of thing. It was uh, more of a, a kind of European type of Romanian vampire type story with the high towers and burning wires strapped between them and, uh, you know, vampires hunting in the night and all this other type of stuff and the whole vision of the castle in darkness. Uh, uh, the whole thing was, was basically, you know, kind of hammer film <laughs> type atmosphere, really uh, tongue in cheek in, in essence. Nothing gruesome about the song or, or just basically vampires not really even playing a huge role. It was more uh, a venture through a landscape that was uh, conducive to vampires and um, again it, it, it was it was a, a great opening song I mean you know I really uh, I really think that uh, that song captures uh, kind of a franticness and uh, really uh, does set a mood for uh, for uh, a vampiric landscape uh, now this is going back too. Don't forget before um, before we actually introduce keyboards into Savior Sec. Now the keyboards, you know, that layered behind the dark music really uh, can take the music to you know from here to here. So uh, it adds a, a definite added dimension. It was easier once we started using keyboards to really uh, bring in these creepy atmospheres. But um, I think, you know, just being, you know, the basic guitar, drums, and and, and, and bass uh, layout here with uh, no overdubs on the vocals, the, uh, the song actually uh, kind of stands on its own as far as uh, 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 an atmospheric piece is, again, uh, very, uh, very... Uh, uh, accolades go out to Dexter with with his imaginative guitar work and, and the, the, the effects that he used on the guitar to really capture that and as he uh, uh, played um, ec with excellence throughout the entire demo so um, yeah so there you have it uh, Save Your Sex first vampire song and uh, one wouldn't be seen again Wow, until uh, 2003 or four, somewhere in there. So, uh, all right, so. Uh